Hey guys, it's Shell, Heart of It All Custom Creations. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button to see future videos. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So today I am doing a peekaboo pink bee themed with a drip tumbler. So let's get started. So I started out with a 20 ounce stainless steel tumbler from the Stainless Depot and um, I went ahead and spray painted it pink. Um, it didn't need to be perfect, but, um, I used Sweet Pea by Rust-Oleum. And, um, once that paint had dried, I'm going to use Pinky Promise from PG Olive Glitters to, um, glitter using the epoxy method with, um, onto the tumbler. I'm not going to epoxy the bottom though, or glitter the bottom because there's a peekaboo and you're not going to see it anyway. So, just to make life easier for myself, I'm just gonna do um, the uh, all the everything else but the bottom. So once that epoxy is on there. I'm taking the Pinky Promise and I'm going to um, spread it out. This is a gorgeous pink. It has like a, almost like a green or gold shift in it. I'm not quite sure, but it's beautiful. So I'm going to cover the entire tumbler, except for the bottom, of course, and then let this sit to dry after um, I roll it on the, the parchment paper that I have. I'm going to flatten down any of this um, glitter. It's not a super fine cut, but it's like a medium cut. So I do want to lay that glitter down as best as possible. So once that dried, I did put two coats of epoxy on it and um, I'm cut out these uh, honeycombs. That's what it's called. I got these from Creative Fabrica. Everything that I use will be listed in the description box below if you're interested. So I'm just going to place these randomly around the tumbler. Um, some of them, I'm just pulling a few of them off, um, but nothing, no rhyme or reason to this, just doing however I felt like doing it. So now that that's done, I am going to take this outside and I'm going to spray paint it the Vintage Blessed by Rust-Oleum. And then once that dries, I am going to um, use some alcohol inks. Now, I pulled out my Marabou and I pulled out Powder Pink, Rose Gold, and Petal Pink. Now I'll tell you, I ended up only using really the Petal Pink and the Rose Gold, the powder pink as you'll see really didn't um, have any much pigment to it but this petal pink did and I'm going to be out of frame here I think my camera got moved and um, so yeah it's not the perfect um, angle here but um, I'm just going to blot this all over the tumbler and um, I didn't want it full full coverage because I still want some of that rustic pink or rustic blush whatever it is vintage blush huh, to um, shine through. So I'm going to continue doing this and I do switch to that powder pink um, at, at one point and realized very quickly that that wasn't going to work. Um, and that's actually what I'm doing here. Um, there's like hardly any pigment on there. So I just decided to go all the way back to the 
petal pink and go over that. And then once I'm done with that, I do pull in the rose gold. So now that I got all of my alcohol ink done, I want to use a little bit of alcohol and just lightly spray around the tumbler to kind of give it this um, sort of, I don't even know what I was going for, but it did do some effect on this to where it kind of released a little bit of the ink so that that blunt vintage blush will show through. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling off the um, vinyl that to make my peekaboo. So I'm only going to show you me doing a couple of them because for some reason this took me forever. Uh, my vinyl did not want to release very well. I think I left it on there too long. Even though this is a removable vinyl, um, it just still was a pain. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that off camera. And then um, I'll show you what this glitter looks like um, with all these different shades of pink. It's just beautiful but I love that glitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish all those off and then um, we'll move on. So here is what it looks like. And I did give this um, uh, a spray of um, Rust-Oleum Clear Coat so that that alcohol ink will stay. Um, and then I'm gonna epoxy this uh, one or two times. I think I did two. And then I'm going to go ahead and make my drip. Now, this is about 10 milliliters of um, oh, I can't remember. Chaos Resin Liquidy Split. That's what it is. And then I'm pouring some more of that, that um, Pinky Promise in there um, to make my drip. So I'm going to let this sit for approximately I know, I think it was just under 10 minutes. Um before it thickened up. And once that was ready to use, um, I am gonna go ahead and do the drip. Now, this isn't the best angle to <laughs> show the drip, but um, I think you'll get the gist. Um, that is just thick enough to where it's still gonna run a little bit, but not run so fast that it's gonna go all the way down the tumbler. And I do want some drips longer than the others. Um, so yeah, this is my pink honey. So I'm just going to go around the tumbler and place the epoxy up at the top rim. And then I'm going to go all the way around before I do tap on the tumbler on the bottom to make some of those drips fall faster. And um, I do add a little bit more uh, epoxy in certain places when I want a much bigger drip.
So while that drip is continuing to set up, I am pulling out this little bees thing that I got from Amazon. Um, they have the traditional bees and then these pink and white bank bees. They're super cute. But I want to add some of these onto the tumbler itself. Um, I've already done all my final coats of epoxy and the drip itself is not going to get repoxied over. And these charms aren't either. So I'm finding one place um, that I just want to place the bee into the epoxy so that when it is completely set up that this bee is not going anywhere. Now these tweezers were not the best thing to use. The bee kept flying away. <laughs> So I ended up just using my hand and um, placing it in a spot that I thought it would look decent in. And then once that um, epoxy completely sets up, I'll move on to the next step. So the epoxy is set up good enough and I tested one to make sure that the I'm using Liquid Fusion by Aliens and I was just making sure that it was um, working the way that it should. So I'm just putting a little bit of the um, Liquid Fusion on the back of the charm and then I'm going to place it onto the tumbler. Now I think um, for this it'd be best to lay flat but because I was putting them around the tumbler, I decided to put it on there and then use some tape to keep it in place until it completely set up to dry. Liquid Fusion does not take that long, but um, I didn't want to sit and hold it for a few minutes while it did that. So I did lay it down, but then moved on taping the rest and then did the final B. So then I was able to remove the tape and this is what we have. I absolutely love it. I did not put any of those charms at the bottom so that it would still be able to fit into a cup holder. This will be available on the website if you are interested. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a great big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.